Starstruck, your access to Hollywood's A-list is back in the celebrity capital connecting movie buffs with the stars. This week, our feature celeb is Andy Garcia. Perhaps best known for his Oscar-nominated role in The Godfather 3 and more recently, the Ocean's 11 and 12 films, Andy is now making his directorial debut with The Lost City, a film about the Cuban Revolution. And because the movie is premiering right here in LA at AFI Film Fest, we have been invited to interview the cast. And as always, out of all your submissions, only one of you out there will get the chance to sit down one-on-one -on -one with Mr. Garcia himself. Take a look. Courtney? Yep. Hi there, my name is Andy Martinez Jr. And uh, I'm submitting myself for the chance to meet Andy Garcia. Um, I'm originally from Miami, Florida. I've been living out in LA for the last two and a half years, pursuing a career in acting. So far, so good. But one of my biggest dreams, one of my things that I want to do while I'm out here is meet, meet Mr. Andy Garcia. He's from my hometown. Uh, he's Cuban. I'm Cuban. He grew up across the street from me. Made it, made the dream real for me. So I'm out here chasing him. Um, he's currently working on this new film called um, The Lost City. It's about four brothers during the revolution in Cuba. I wasn't there, but my grandparents were. I know all the stories. You know, I know all I can do, and I'm really excited. If I would just get the chance to meet Mr. Andy Garcia, I'm the guy. Please consider me. Thank you. Well, Andy Martinez, we absolutely agree. Andy should meet Andy. So get ready to interview your favorite actor because you have been chosen to be this week's Starstruck Reporter. Ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening to you all. In 1958, Havana was a city of music, sophistication, and glamour. For one man, it was the perfect life. A toast to the most elegant couple in Havana. Happy anniversary. But no dream lasts forever. This is Danielle, Andy's fiance, and we are standing out front of Hollywood. Why? Because this is where both you and Andy work. We are about to bust in there and deliver the exciting news to him. You, of course, orchestrated this entire surprise, so tell us what you have planned. Well, at 5.30, usually Andy gets a break, so he usually comes into my office just to kind of see how things are going. So I thought we'd all be in there and surprise him. Nice, all right, lead the way. Hey, everybody, say hi to Starstruck. Hey! Here he comes, you guys. Chosen by Starstruck for an interview with Andy Garcia. Alright. All right. <laughs> Why are they all here? <laughs> What's up, man? Hey, you guys are so excited. <laughs> Well, Andy, congratulations. Your interview with Mr. G is set up for tomorrow night. It's happening at the AFI press tent just before the film premiere. How are you processing all of this right now? Wow, I'm just, I'm, 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 I don't know what to say. I'm so, thank you so much, Starstruck. I am so excited. Thank you. Thank you so <laughs> much. Yeah, let's, can we go now? Let's go, everyone, all of you, to the Garcia Mobile. Come on. It is so awesome that Andy got chosen for this. He's a huge, huge, huge Andy Garcia fan. Ocean's Eleven, Godfather Three, loves him. He's a great guy, hilarious. I think Andy's gonna do a great job. He's, uh, he's Cuban, and he's gonna be interviewing another famous Cuban actor. And, uh, you know, what better person could you have interview uh, one of the best Cuban actors of today? So when I rounded the corner and I saw the camera inside the office, I, uh, I immediately had a, had a gut feeling it was starstruck. And then when Danielle came bouncing in with the mic in my face and said, you're going to be on Starstruck. I was like, ah, oh, it happened. And and I get to interview Andy Garcia. How exciting is that? So cool. You get to come with me? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Keep your hands off him. Okay. Your stinky hands. Do I have to? Yeah. Andy is a great co-worker. He's a very funny guy. He's one of the most outgoing people who work here. I even got to see him in drag. Lethal Eviction. He makes my, a good drag queen. That's my film, Lethal Eviction. I rent it. He's a stylish co-worker. Stylish co-worker. See, he's got the spiky but not too spiky. Right? You gonna touch my hair like that again? 
That's nice. I think he's gonna do quite well uh, interviewing Andy Garcia. He's got the, he's got that, that he's, a, he's an actor and he's, he's, he's very, very passionate and I know he'll, uh, he'll put up some good questions for him. This is, a, this is his life. <laughs> I was about eight years old when I first heard of Andy Garcia. Um, basically, you know, he started making it in the industry. His father and my father um, just knew, ran in, in similar circles and he started coming up more and more often and, and as his career grew, you heard, heard more about him and um, it was, like I said, being from Miami, Florida, it's such a small town, it was so easy for me to follow him. And, uh, you know, and I have been ever since. And he's here. And he's arrived. It's 9.30 a.m. the next day. We just surprised you last night, which means you haven't even had 24 hours to get your head around what's going on. And what's going on is, of course, you're going to be sitting down one-on-one -on -one with Andy Garcia later on this afternoon at the Arclight Theatre in Hollywood. So how are you absorbing all of this right about now? It's pretty crazy, huh? I'm just, I'm so excited. I mean, I haven't even been able to call home and tell anybody about this. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm nervous and I'm numb and I think I needed an extra hour's worth of sleep this morning, but I'm, I'm good. I'm but looking forward to it. Absolutely. I mean, come on, this is, this is a big deal for me. So. Now this morning, I have brought you to the American Film Market. AFM is the world's largest motion picture trade event, and Andy Garcia is holding a press conference in there for the Lost City as a preliminary warm-up. I want you to go in there, see if you could pop in a question to Andy, and then while you're at it, maybe find out a bit about what AFM is about. Yeah, that sounds easy, doesn't it? No but, pressure. Uh, no pressure, no pressure, but uh, I'll try to sneak in a question in there and uh, see what I can find out about AFM. You can do it. Thank you. So I came along for moral support. I have my little camera here, so I'm going to take some behind the scenes, and we'll see how he does. Didn't get my credentials for the take. Check it out, it's official. I am a starstruck reporter. Ciao, baby. So Mr. Wolf, can you just tell us a little bit about what AFM is? The American Film Market is a wholesale trade show for the independent film industry. What you have here is motion picture producers and distributors from about 400 companies, 35 countries here to license and sell their films to buyers from around the world. So uh, do you think you could help Mr. Andy Garcia out? He's looking for a distributor right here. I think Mr. Garcia is very skilled at accomplishing what he needs to do here, and my advice wouldn't help. Okay. I don't think he needs any. Thanks for your time. Say hi, Andy. Hi, guys. Okay, good. Nice, we're done. Well, I'm sitting here at the uh, press conference, and uh, Andy's supposed to walk through these doors in a few minutes. Feeling a little uh, anxious. All these other professional types around, if you know what I mean. Well, just gonna have to sit here and wait. And throw a few elbows to get my question in, if I have to. It's 10.30 and I'm still waiting. Frankly, I, I find these engagements rather blase in myself. Arrived. How difficult has it been for you to shop a film like this around, um, you know, being a minority group and all? finding distribution. 
getting it made? Uh, well, like I said, it took me 16 years and I still don't have a distributor. <laughs> but I will have one. I mean, we, we have distributors and foreign distributors. Uh, the movie's been sold in the foreign markets and it's continuing to be sold. But the domestic, we made the movie without a domestic distributor. And like I said, we'll be announcing one at the beginning of the week. Tostones o platanos maduros? What's that? Tostones o platanos maduros? Depende con qué? Moros. Tostones. Bueno, depende. Depende. Los dos. Thank you. For those of you who don't understand Spanish, uh, especially if you're not from Miami, uh, ask them, Tostones o platanos maduro, which is uh, green plantains or sweet plantains. And he said, his response was, well, it depends with what. And I said, moros, which is a style of rice and black beans that Cubans make. And he said, tostones, with a little bit of garlic and perejil, which apparently is parsley. So there you go. Well, Starstruck. As you can tell, I think it went pretty well in there. Got some information about uh, AFM. Got our meeting with um, Andy Garcia, my one question. Later today, I got my big one-on-one -on -one interview. I'm really looking forward to that. So Mr. Garcia, azúcar. Te veo en un ratico. Andy, it is finally time for your one-on-one -on -one interviews with the stars of The Lost City. And Danielle, I see you're in for the long haul. You're going to hang out tonight to see how your boy's going to do. Yeah, I think he's going to do great. I'm excited. I'm sure he will. Now, earlier this morning, Andy, mm -hmm. you did all right. I think that your nerves sort of caught you by surprise at one point, but you pulled through. And now is the true test, the actual interview. So do you think you have your nerves intact this time around? I, I, I think I do. Andy Garcia is a, you know, a hometown star. The stories about uh, this film's about the Cuban Revolution, which were, you know, my grandparents' era. And I know it means a lot to them and my family, and you know myself. And uh, yeah, this is great. I, you know, I'm excited to be here. Excellent. Well, why don't we head on upstairs? We'll find a spot and start setting up for interviews. Yeah, it sounds good. Let's good. go. Hey there. How are you, Andy Martinez? Nestor Carbonell. Good nice to meet you. you. Good to meet you. This thank is, you. Uh, your comfortable chair. Oh, thank you. What's it like being directed by, by Andy Garcia? Uh, it's amazing, man. I mean, I know, you know, I'm sure you're an actor. I know you're an actor. And, and you know, as Cubans or Cuban-Americans, for me, when he came on screen, he really sort of, you know, he broke the mold and he really opened doors and, and you know, and allowed, you know, certainly roles to be written and, and for me to be, or people like us to be considered in those roles. Right. So he's, he's, you know, I've followed his career and I've been a huge fan of his for a long time. So to be able to work with him as an actor is great, but then also, to be directed by him and his passion project. I mean, he's, he's had this incredible script with him for many years. I think uh, a lot of people don't, at least for me, a lot of, uh, most people don't realize that Andy Garcia is like, he's like our De Niro. You know, yeah. He's, he's, oh, he's, he's, he's our guy. He's our legend, yeah, and there's no question. I really, um, I look forward to seeing you, man. Oh, man, I appreciate it, and uh, I hope you like the film, and I hope that, uh, you know, it speaks to you like it spoke to me. We we'll look forward to it. Thanks, Andy. Good Pleasure. to meet you. Good luck with everyone. All right, take it easy. Yeah, Nestor Carbonell was, it was just cool to talk to. Uh, you know, he's not very, he's not much older than I am, and uh, the humbleness was still there. And uh, it was just real easy, just you know, to talk to him. You have no idea what's going on in this country: anger, desperation, revolution. But like it or not, it's coming. So how intimidating was it for you to have to play uh, the role of Che Guevara? I mean, were you scared at all, or did you just? It wasn't. It wasn't as intimidating as playing opposite Andy Garcia, but. <laughs> What helped me is I, I outranked Andy Garcia being Che Guevara. So therefore, I wasn't intimidated. I, was, I felt comfortable to be in Che, be Che, and therefore tell Andy to get lost. Right. And so that was awesome. It was, uh, we go toe to toe in the movie. And uh, to me, it's like for a second there, sometimes I feel like I'm acting opposite the Godfather, so. I have a duty to my country. 
You deserve more. We deserve more. So I, uh, I just found out that our interview with Ines Sastre, the lead actress of the film, has been pulled. So uh, I'm going to walk around, see if I can track her down and maybe get a couple questions in with her. So let's go see if I can make that happen. Hey, Ines. Hi, Hi. How are you? Hi. Andy. Nice to meet you. Um, just a simple question. Okay. What was your experience like working on this film? It was an amazing experience. I mean, it was a really beautiful movie to do and, and, and very important for me. It was not an easy part, it's, it's, but you know, I really got into the movie and it was very difficult to leave, to leave, uh, to leave the film, to leave my friends and, and to go back to Ines, actually. <laughs> go back to it? Yeah. Did you enjoy uh, working with Andy Garcia? I, I suppose? loved it. I loved, I think everybody, every actor and everybody who has been involved in this project, it's happy because it's, it's, it's to be part of Andy's dream. I was pretty, pretty proud of myself that I managed to get uh, Inez Sastre, even though our interview was canceled. Uh, found her outdoors and uh, she was kind enough to take a moment and, and answer a couple questions. And she's beautiful and, uh, you know, God only knows how huge she's going to be and I'll, I'll always have that moment with her, so. <sighs> well, we've just been told that uh, Andy Garcia is going to be arriving any moment now. So, uh, Obviously my blood pressure did go up a bit, my pulse is racing, and my palms are starting to sweat. So, um, we'll see what happens. This is Andy. Hi. Hey, how are you? Man? Good, how are you? Good. Cold. The icebreaker for me was just letting him know, I'm, you know, I'm from Miami, um, same hometown. Um, we're a very tight community down there, and, uh, it seems like any time you bump into somebody, if you're a stranger, and that person just says, well, you know, I'm from Miami, Florida, and it's like, the next question is, are you Cuban? And they're like, yeah, and all of a sudden, like, it's like, oh, you're like, hola, man, así, serie, coño, coño, and that, you know, and it's just like, it comes out, you know, and it's like instant brotherhood. Hey, Mr. Garcia, my name is Andy. There you go, I like I'm the from, name. It's a great name, Andres. <laughs> I'm from Miami, Florida. While he was being mic'd, I, you know, I mentioned to him in Spanish, I said, you know, um, the first time we met was about 20 years ago. I mentioned my father's name, and. I remember I was telling him, he's looking at my face, he's like, I'm not sure I can place your father, the name sounds familiar. And I said, yeah, it's, it's his face, plus 80 pounds. It's and this one, plus like 80 pounds. <laughs> so these are my professional questions for you. Okay, him. good. <laughs> the Lost City. There's a thousand stories about the revolution you know, going on during the revolution. Why this one? What's this one about? You know, historically, there's only one, you know, there's only one arc, what happened historically in that time period, and then you have to figure out as a filmmaker, what, you know, what microcosm I think you need to focus on and how that historical arc affected, in this case, a particular family. And so we tell our story through the Fayova family, which is myself and three brothers, father and uncles. Pretty soon you, and you, and you, Bobby, are gonna have to make a decision. Hey, show a little respect. Having fled Cuba at such a young age, five, right? Five and a half. Five and a half. How, uh, how big of an emotional journey was it for you to go through this process and make this picture? Well, you know, obviously first it took me 16 years to find someone to support the film. And we had to, you know, we did it outside of the industry. Uh, but the actual making of the movie was very emotional for everybody concerned because a lot of the incidents in the movie happened to me or happened to Mr. Infante or happened to the society. It happened, there's a lot of issues in the movie that happened to a lot of the cast members in the family directly or to their family members. And uh, so it's a movie, it's a very personal film, there's no doubt, you know, but it's personal, but it's also universal because the, the metaphor of the film is impossible love and the love for a country or a woman, in this case, is the metaphor. She was a beautiful thing, Havana. We should have known she was a, a heartbreaker. You must know that I love you. That's the complicated part. An audience like myself, a Cuban descendant, what, I mean, I go to see the film, what do you hope that I get from it, walk away from, feeling, knowing? Well, obviously you have a, a particular association to the story through what you've heard of through your parents' eyes and, and, no, and being a, more knowledgeable about Cuban history than most people are. So you have a deeper, uh, you come to it with a deeper awareness. Uh, and uh, if it's anything like I've seen, people of the Cuban descent as they watch the movie, it's gonna be a very emotional experience for you. Being your directorial debut, 
Are you nervous about putting this out there? No. No? Just confident in the work? Well, the most important thing for me is that the movie exists. And I know with, you know, I'm, I'm uh, old enough and been around long enough to know that everything you do gets either applauded and criticized at the same time. So, you know, it's not about that to me. It's about, you know, the, the story itself and, and that the sort of story exists. And, and, uh, and for the movie, to me, obviously, I want the movie to have resonance and relevance, you know, years, in years to come. Yeah, and it's been a great honor and pleasure. Likewise, thank you. Talking to you. Thanks for your time, and I'll see you again. Yeah, well, in Spanish, we say tocayo. Tocayo. Cuban, too? Huh? Hasta luego, we always say. No, tocayo means tocayo someone means... who has your, shares your same name. Tocayo. He's a tocayo. I didn't know that. Well, you know, there you go. I'm going to call home now and tell my dad tocayo. Thank you. Okay, bro. Ciao. Okay. I just finished my interview with Andy Garcia, and uh, really, uh, I was nervous at the beginning, and then as soon as he opened his mouth, he was so just nice and charming. I mean, I mellowed out. He was real cool with me, and uh, as you guys saw, and uh, wow, how cool is that? I, I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm, I'm lost for words. The lost city, lost for words. Thanks. <laughs> I really want to thank uh, Starstruck uh, for giving me this opportunity. I want to thank Mr. Garcia uh, for granting me uh, his time. Uh, the whole event, the whole experience was just, um, it was great. My, my, you know, my girlfriend and I, Danielle, uh, we had a blast really. And this is something that I'm sure will be memorable and something we'll talk about uh, for years to come. So thank you guys. And that brings us to the end of our coverage of The Lost City. Andy, I would say you did a pretty good job in there with those interviews. I would imagine overall this was a pretty cool experience for you considering you just met one of your favorite actors whom you have admired since you were a kid. It's been an interesting uh, 24 hours, hasn't it? Um, I, I really just, I'm so happy to be here. Really, thank you so much. Um, Thank God my girlfriend asked me to send the submission because, you know, I was like, ah, that's for other people. And she's like, no, go ahead. And, and it just goes to show, just do it. You never know what happens and here I am, so. That's right, and speaking of, as always, you two at home can also interview the stars right here on Starstruck. All you have to do is get on a computer, send us an email submission, or pick up a video camera, record yourself, just like Andy did, telling us who your favorite celebrities are and who you want to interview and why you think you should be on the show. And it's as simple as that. You can find out all the details that you need to know, including where you need to send your submissions to on our website at IamStarstruck.com. Best of luck, and you never know, you could very well be the next fan to interview Hollywood's A-list right here on Starstruck. We'll see you next week. Being from Miami and all, I, I, I thought it'd be appropriate to, uh, to end the festivities on a uh, musical note. You know this one, sing along, sing along. Ice, ice, baby, too cold. Hey, you. Hey, stop. Collaborate and listen. Ice back with my brand new invention. Something grabs a hold of me tightly. They love this flow like a harpoon daily and nightly. Will it ever stop? Yo, I don't know. Turn off the lights. You know this one? And I'll glow to the extreme. Around. Please refer to your manual.